This video is taken from my course on how to create a hybrid casual mobile game. More info in the description. Welcome back guys. In this lesson, we are going to tackle something really interesting and really important. This is the inventory. The inventory will help us store our crops, display them and so much more. Okay, so we will learn saving and loading using a JSON in this section and yeah, much more actually. So let me first explain how we are going to proceed. We are first going to create an inventory item class, okay? So this class will help us store the crop type and the crop amount that we've got, okay? So for each crop, we will have one inventory item, got it? Next, we are going to create our inventory class, which will basically manage the list of inventory items, okay? Then, finally, we will implement the inventory manager, which will be responsible for managing our inventory. Awesome. If this is clear for you, let's jump right into it. Okay, so let's first open our scripts folder. So mobile farming game scripts right here. Let's actually create a new folder just to better organize our scripts. So let's call it inventory. Perfect. Let's now right click, create a new C sharp script and let's call it inventory item. All right, when it's compiled, we can open it. Perfect. And let's actually implement this. So the first thing I wanna do is remove the mono behavior inheritance because this is, we, this is gonna be a class by itself, not inheriting from anyone or anything. All right. After that, I wanna add a new public variable for the crop type. So let's call it crop type like so. And let's actually specify it like so, then we can create it. So we don't have any crop type yet because for now we are only dealing with the corn, but later on we might add more crops just to test things out. So let's actually create an enum to store all of our crop types. Got it? Okay, so you can create the enum right here or create a new script for that to store all of your enums. So that's what I'm gonna do just for organization purposes. So let's create a new C sharp script. Let's call it enums. Perfect, let's open it. We can also remove the inheritance from the mono behavior and actually remove the class. We won't need it. All right. So at the top right here, I'm gonna space things out a bit and create my enum, so public enum crop type. Okay, so this will have two crop types, let's say, so the corn type along with the tomato type. So let's call it tomato, perfect. I can actually space the space them like so. Cool. Now if I go back to my inventory item class, I don't have any error anymore. And you know what? While we are here, we can actually grab all of our enums and drop them here. So let's open our player harvest ability. Okay, no enums here. Maybe here. Yep, we've got one. So let's grab it. Okay, let's save this script. Drop the enum right here. Okay. Let's rearrange things a bit more. Perfect. Do we have another one? Um, crop. Okay, nothing in here, nothing here. Crop field maybe. Uh, nothing, seed particles, nope, nope. Uh, yep, we have one right here, okay. But this is linked to the player tool selector actually. So maybe we should keep this one right here because we do specify the player selector tool, the player tool selector in another script. So let's keep it here. Okay, let's look at if we've got any other enums. Nope, seems like we don't. So that's perfect for now. Let's check if we have any errors. No errors, so that's perfect. And let's keep implementing our inventory item class. All right, after specifying or referencing the crop type, we are going to reference the amount of crops we've got from that type. So public int amount, like so. And finally, we can create a constructor to be able to create our inventory item from somewhere else. So public inventory item, we will need to pass in a crop type. Okay, so crop type along with an amount, so int amount. Perfect. So this dot crop type equals crop type and this dot amount equals amount. Awesome. This will be really helpful when creating inventory items. All right. We are actually done for our inventory item. 
So let's keep the inventory for the next lesson, shall we? This will help us follow along. So jump right in the next lesson if you've mastered this.